Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Shadowrun Dragonfall. You're here with Raven when he's uh, looking at Mr. Uh, Tor Torvald? Torvald. Torvald Einstad. Um, I, I made the mistake of moving a little bit closer and just initiated this dialogue. You can see him waving and pounding on the plastic of his cell door, but from where you're standing, the scene is eerily silent. He looks like he's had a rough go of things. One of his eyes has been blackened and his lower lip is split wide open. Not particularly surprising given the temperament of his captors. The only incongruous element is his outfit. He's decked out head to toe in patched black riding leathers. A pair of oversized studding co studded combat boots shine in the halogen glare of the cell's lighting panels. From his style of dress, it's obvious that this dwarf is not a corporate employee, he is a shadow runner. This isn't some corporate goon, boss. Look at him, he's one of us. Glory shudders, but hold her si holds her silence. Dietrich lays a hand on the bare metal of Glory's shoulders. She flinches, but only barely. When he speaks, his voice is soft. There, but for the grace of God, eh, love? Something like that. Unleash the hellhounds! It's not I who killed them! The door slides open, and the stench of stale sweat assaults, assaults your nostrils. Instad steps forward, his bloody lips curled into a smile, the soles of his boots squeak on the polished tile floor. Free at last! Thank Christ! His smile widens into a sickly grin. Tar-stained teeth shine wetly in the light. Didn't think I'd warn a rescue. Whoever sent you, thank them for me. Um, I'm afraid you're uh, wrong about that. I was sent here to tie up loose ends. Namely, you. Whoa there, Chief. I don't know what your client told you. He said that your team botched a run, went loud too early, and got a lot of people killed. That's what he told me. Us? We botched the run? That's bullshit, man. We did everything like we were supposed to, like always. It was that bastard's bad intel that got us hung out to dry. Sounds familiar. Please, just hear me out. I promise, I'll make it worth your while if you do. Couldn't hurt to hear what he has to say. His hands clasped in front of him in a sign of supplication. You can see the terror in his eyes. Go ahead. Talk. Alright, okay. So we go in, right? Me and my team, and we're doing just what the client told us to do. Well, the bastard forgot to mention that Pharma had a night errand security contract for the place. He told us that there would be little, if any, resistance. So imagine our surprise when KE response team kicked in the door and unloaded on us. Ooh, etiquette Shadowrunner. Quit trying to shift the blame. Adapting to unanticipated situations is part of a Shadowrunner's job description. Um... Yeah, every run goes sideways at some point. You should have been ready for that. Oh, for Christ's sakes, haven't you ever been on a job that went south? Yeah, I can tell from the look in your eyes that you have. I'm no different than you are, pal. I just had the bad luck to take a job from the wrong client. Look, I can see you're skeptical. Skeptical, I get that. Can't blame me for it either. You know, you don't know me from Adam, but I know one thing that you will understand. I'd like to offer you a trade. I've got a little toy hidden away. Managed to stash it before those night errand pukes took me. My own design, totally one of a kind. I call it a pain inducer. Grade A fun for the runner who has everything, and I guarantee you'll never find another. You let me live and it's all yours. I'll put a fucking ribbon on it for you. Then I'll disappear. Never bother any of you again. Scout's honor. Even if, even if we'd consider going off mission, she still shoots you a significant glance, which we wouldn't. Did you honestly think that we'd sacrifice our professional integrity and 15,000 new yen payday for a trinket? 15, huh? I can, man I, can, I can match that. You let me live, I'll pay your wage, plus the inducer. Hell, you could even tell your client I'm dead and bill him too. Double your earnings. What do you think about that? Okay. What does the pain inducer do? Induces pain. It's a narrow band microwave projector. Causes debilitating pain in the target. And screws with the electrical systems of drones and the like. Think of it like a taser, only easier to use. And meaner and a whole lot more fun. Question number two. How do you have 15,000 new yen? I had a big payday a while back. Put the extra cash in my rainy day fund. Trust me, pal. I can pay you the money. You help me out, I'll transfer it to you myself. I just need to get back to the room where I stash my PDA. All right, I'm in. You won't regret it, friend. I promise. Eager holds her tongue, but her body language speaks volumes. Tight lips, rigid pose, slight color in her pale cheeks. You've seen it before. She's furious. That's great, man. We Shadowrunners, we gotta stick together. And if this guy betrays us or does anything that I find to be unpalatable, I can always just shoot him in the dick. K. 
Killing him now is a waste of our potential. Instad slows to a stop at the window. His eyes are locked on the stack of corpses piled up on the cell floor. Sorry, sons of bitches. But they never thought I'd be the last man standing. What makes you say that? I'm usually right in the thick of the action, easy to get shot under those circumstances. If I hadn't been put downstairs when K.E. smashed in, I'd be in that pile with them. Funny. In my experiences, riggers usually stay away from the thick of combat. They tend to use their drones for that. Well, I ain't that kind of rigger. Drones ain't my thing so much. So you're a getaway driver. Vehicle, vehicle riggers are even less likely to be found on the front lines. Now nah, I'm a spider. My specialty is taking over building systems. To do that, I need to find a data tap. And to do that, I need to charge in with the rest of the team. Don't Deckers usually handle that kind of thing? <laughs> yeah, they usually do. But they don't do it well, mind you. But they do it. Deckers can manage a building, sure. But when I rig into a security system, I become the building. Anything hardwire into the system becomes a part of me. Turrets, doors, elevators, you name it. And then, then it's time to get creative. I think we might have seen some signs of your creativity on the way up here. Might have. Can't send my one way or the other until you show me what you're talking about. Anyway, we should probably get moving, don't you think? I don't want to be here when more of those night errant bastards show up. Huh. So he's the one who worked his mojo and all the people down here. Let's see what he thinks about, uh this grisly scenario. As you hurry past the scene of carnage in the operating theater, a peculiar smile crosses the rigger's face. He slows to a stop, then points at the dismembered body on the other side of the glass. Is this, uh, your handiwork? He looks at you dead in the eye, and for a moment his expression remains unchanged. Then his smile broadens, and a stream of giggles comes pouring out of him. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, you got me. Red-faced, he wipes a tear from the corner of his eye. This! This was one of mine. Couldn't tell you how excited I was to see this stuff. Such incredible toys! It was way too good an opportunity to pass up. Those don't look like Knight Errand employees to me. That looks like a tech lab. Oh, this was a fun one. Little Prick couldn't believe it when I set the auto-surgeon on him. He kept trying to get away. Whenever he went, one of the arms was there. Rip! Rip! And all the while, he was screaming like a little girl. Eee! Oh, God. Must have kept it up for, oh, 10, 15 minutes. He barks out a snorting laugh. It was hilarious, man, I tell ya. Glory gives you a significant glance. You can see the disgust in her eyes. I'll point out other stuff when we see it. There was this one guy that I locked a room with a manipulator arm. <laughs> it was fucking classic. To hell with this trinket. Let this, letting this bastard go would be wrong, boss, and you know that. Besides which, he's lied to us. There was no bad intel. This bastard is the reason why things went south with that run. I can feel it in my bones. The fuck is he talking about? We got a deal. If you don't want to kill, that's fine. Let me do it. I'll help. It's what we should have done in the first place. At that moment, the door behind you slides open. A trio of figures make their way into the room. Why, hello, lady and gentlemen. Oh, all gentlemen. Oh, no, there's a lady. The leader of the group is an elf with Asian features. He's obviously a bat job. The bands of corded muscle that bulge out under his sleeves have distinctly store-bought look to them. When he speaks, his voice comes out in a gravelly rumble. My, my. The intrepid double-decker with his target in tow. What a surprise. Hold on. Let's talk about this. There's little to talk about. You were sent here to tie up loose ends, and instead we catch you trying to sneak your target out the front door. Disappointing. Not surprising, mind you, but disappointing all the same. Let me guess, our client sent you. Herr Fuchs sent us uh, to check up on you, given his recent uh, uh, given his recent troubles with Shadowrunners. This should not come as a surprise. No more than your betrayal surprises me. Kill, en uh, kill him. Betrayal? No, Enzo was never going to leave this building. Allow me to demonstrate. Unfortunately, I don't have the etiquette Shadowrunner. That being said, hopefully I can put on a convincing lie. What? If you kill him here and now, I will report to Air Fuchs that you fulfilled your end of the contract, but you must do it now. No hesitation, no trickery. No problem. No deal. You've had this coming. What's up? <laughs> it would appear that you might possess some small shred of integrity after all. Told you, I honor my deals. 
I said integrity, not honor. I remain convinced that you are thoroughly dishonorable, Shadowrunner. A man of honor would never have allowed his target to live as long as you did. Whatever your motives might have been, honor was not among them. No matter, the letter of your contract has been fulfilled, your job here is done. I will inform Air Fuchs of the mission's completion and of the circumstances surrounding it. Eh, uh, we're probably gonna get a pay cut, but uh, fuck that guy. He was a murderous psychopath. Oh, he had he had tiny dwarf syndrome. It happens. It happens all the time, man. The dwarf feels really small his whole life. He gets the opportunity to feel large and uses it to murder people. I've I've seen it before. I've seen it before. I've seen it in Baldur's Gate too, man. They turn that gnome into a genie and he just starts using it to fuck people up. It's weird. It's weird. I don't know what it is. Every fantasy every fantasy-esque scenario with short people. You give them you give them you give them an inch. They take a mile, and then they start killing people. Your subway car is empty on the return trip to the cruise bazaar. This stretch of the sprawling U-Bahn tunnel system doesn't see much use. It seems, at least not at this hour. As the train rattles on, you find yourself lost in thought. Old memories creep unbidden to the forefront of your mind. Memories of Monica in the old days and the crew that you used to run with. Memories of success and failure, of wealth and prosperity, of good times and bad. Halfway back to the cruise bazaar, you're jolted out of your reverie by a buzzing sound. Your comlink. link. You are receiving a call. Oh? Who's calling me at this hour? Amsel! Double. I trust that I'm catching you at a good time. Good time as any, what's up? I've made contact with another prospective client, a rather elusive woman of Astlaner descent. She calls herself Frau Müller. She will not say, not to me at any rate, she has insisted that she would speak only with you. She wants to meet with you in half an hour's time at the location of your choosing. And what's she offering for this mystery job? 30,000 new yen. 36,000 new yen. Quite an impressive sum, devil. I would not have bothered you with this otherwise. That is a lot of money. Very well, I will instruct her to come with you to the cruise bazaar. Where would you like to meet? Public but secluded. Kaveshas! Altox is going to find about this anyway. Might as well have the discussion and comfort. Noted. I will set up the meet. Double, there is one other thing. You should... Uh-oh. Uh, the U-Bahn car flicker and wink out. You hear the screeching sound of steel on steel and the train grinds to a halt. Huh. Curious. Hum. I think someone's uh, caught wind of uh, our uh, shenanigans and doesn't approve. Oh, we should try to find a fuse box. Tunnel's collapsed. No way we're getting out this way. Ooh, found a fuse. Looks like some squatters are living in the station. Huh. What do we have here? Medical supplies! Yay! Uh, add an extra fuse to bathroom. That didn't seem to do anything. Uh, try swapping the old fuse that is bathroom to track. Uh, remove the extra fuse from bathroom. Add it to track. This is how fuses work, right? Maybe that'll allow me to operate the bridge. Nice! Fantastic. Oh boy. It's so dark in this maintenance area you can barely see your hand in front of your face. Woo! Nice! Ah. Uh. Ooh. Cool. I approve of grenades. I'll keep it for later. Oh, but all there was was a grenade back there. Fair enough. Oh god. This is gonna turn into an awful ambush. You know. Oh! Who'd have thought? Who'd have fucking thought? God damn it. Glory. Get fast. Go speed. And rip these twerps to shreds. 
that one in particular. Oh, he's the captain. Good. Rip his armor off. And then rip him off. Oh my god. Crit of crits. That crit though. I'm hit. Yeah, you're hit. Uh, yeah, I can't flank that guy, but maybe I can drop his uh, action points a little bit. Oh, are you guys grouping up? Are you guys grouping up? Oh, they're... Nah, oh, damn it, they didn't group up. Oh, he's got that cover. Ice. I was about to say, if I can kill that guy real quick, then uh, Glory can start focusing on other people. Oh, 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 God. He doesn't deserve it. He doesn't deserve what we're doing to him. <laughs> Got one. Just imagine saying her saying that in that robotic way. Damn it. There we go. There's some damage. No, 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 no. That's okay. It's just a flashbang. What's up? Poked out around the wrong corner, idiot. What do we have here? Encrypted PDA. Huh. I guess someone doesn't like what we're doing. Doesn't like how we're snooping around. Oh, hello. Hey, guys. Oh, I should have known there'd be more in there. Ow! Okay. Gotta get in there fast. Another captain. Well, let's rip up his armor. And get into cover. It's two for one special, you know? Come on. There we go. Uh, give Eager a little bit of speed. Okay, I'll just move her over here. And then she'll punch this guy. <laughs> Woohoohoo! Five damage. Five whole points of damage. Oh man. Great work healing those two hit points. Great work fucking whiffing. Actually, before I start making any more range, making any more attacks, give me the aim, please, so that I don't miss everything. I should have thrown a knife or done anything else. Oh well, it's working out. As soon as we can break the encryption on that PDA, we can figure out who these twerps work for and what the fuck is going on. Just shooting over over a box at each other. What? Oh, 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 was it worth it? Was it worth it? Almost fucking murdering your friendo? They're probably not friendos. There we are. This poor guy. He's just been trying to run away. He can't get away. Won't let him. Too far away. Diedrich, just run in there. Make yourself a make yourself a compelling target. Just keep unloading into this twerp. Poor guy. Ah. Uh, you see, Diedrich, you did great. You looked like a good target, and it worked out really well. Ah, oh, damn it. There we go. All right, you no longer have action points. That means combat is over. We're gonna get back in that train next time. Let's play Shadowrun Dragonfall. D uh, the shocking uh, cliffhanger. Will we get in the train? Will it go?